Hi. So I just wanted to share uh, what I learned today with research on how to make my Audacity audio files ACX compliant. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. I did a lot of research today. I watched a couple of YouTube videos, quite a few YouTube videos, um, and this is what I learned. So I'm going to share my screen and just do this with you um, in real time so that we can do it together. Okay. This is the plan. Okay. Here is my Audacity program. I've already put my uh, audio file in there. I've, I've imported it. So it's all set. First thing we're going to do is select over here, the corner, hit effect. The first thing we want to do is loudness normalization. We're going to click on that. This is an uh, AECX requirement to set your RMS. So at first mine was over here perceived loudness. So I had to select this and I set it to negative 20. <laughs> Stuff going on in the kitchen over there. All right, I'm gonna hit okay. Now pay attention to the sound waves back here. What happens? Boom, bam, right? They got really big. Um, so we increased the sound, the noise. Okay, so now we're going to back to effect the second step two. Second thing we're going to do is compress this. Um, originally, I went through and compressed my audio files anyways, and then I set them to negative um, 3.0 decibels because that's the requirement. But it still wasn't compliant. It didn't like the audio files. So once you make them loud like this, so it's not going to be too quiet, you have to come in here and on your compressor, what we're going to change is the ratio. You see this? Um, just 5 to 1, minus 5.1 to 1. Um, this is still the same, negative 12 for the threshold, the noise floor is still negative 40. But right here, this is what you change the ratio. You just slide the bar over, you get a 5 to 1 ratio, click OK. So this should really help our sound um, condense to be a nice thick line. And that's what ACX wants. They want um, an even sound for the whole audio file for every chapter. And let's watch it. Boom, there it is in real time. Okay, so then the last thing we have to do, step three, a lot over there, um, are these little plosives. You see these? Okay, so we're going to select this side again, hit effect, and it hid this for me. I had to find it. You click down this little arrow, boom, 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 all the way down here. We're going to click on limiter. Ha ha, and this is what we need for ACX to be happy. You have to limit this decibel here to the negative three right there. Okay. Um, I watched a video today and it was set to hard limits, um, but I feel like that just chopped off the sound. So instead I'm doing soft limits that kind of gradually um, stops it. Um, and no gains. The other video also had input gains set to four. But what that's going to do is raise the quiet parts of the audio up and I'm lowering you know, the peaks, and it makes it more steady in the middle. However, the quiet part um, could be your sound floor. That could be the fan in your computer, somebody running the sink. Um, it could be your your stomach grumbling, whatever it was, you know, um, and I don't want to raise that gain. So I'm going to leave those zero. And the first time I watched somebody do this, it was, um, he set one of them to four. So I mean, you can play with it if you want to listen to see what that sounds like. But for me, I recorded in stereo tracks. And so just changing one of them to four, of course, made them different. And I was like, I don't know, it just sounded weird. So I just left them both at zero. Let's click OK. Now watch these little peaks down here. They're going to get shaved off. Nice little haircut for them. But a fade because it's soft. Soft limit. Here we go. See that? Boop right there at the bottom. So now it's nice and clean all along the edges. So I should be able to select this. And then the last thing you need to do is click Analyze and ACX Check. If you don't have this option yet in your program, we will get to it. All right, look at this, pass, 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 they all pass. Now I've gotten a couple audio files where it says the noise floor um, has a warning on it. it. Says it's too quiet, that it doesn't sound normal, doesn't sound natural. But a warning is still a pass. So you're good to go. Okay, pass, pass, pass. Okay, we'll click okay. I'm gonna select this, and I'm going to export my file, and I'm going to label it 
ACX so that I know it's compliant because if it passes here, then it will upload without issue um, on their website. There it goes. Chapter 34, Don't Blow a Fuse. That's my book, The Fourth Fate. It's a middle grade read for upper middle grade children. Juvenile. Okay. So if you don't have um, the Analyze feature in your Audacity program, I, like I did, I did not have it. I had to go find it today. Um, you have to download it. And it's a Nyquist, I believe. It's a plugin. So you go, you download it online. Okay. But just because it's downloaded doesn't mean it's in the program. Then you have to install it into Audacity. Let's see. I'm waiting for this to export here. So basically, you're going to um, do the plugin installer under tools right here next to analyze. It says tools. You're going to do the installer there. And then the video that I watched, that was it. She looked, you're good to go. Um, it was not good to go. You have to go back into it, select it, and enable it. And that's on the add plugins. So first you install it, and then you have to add it. It's like a three-step process. Okay. All right. That looks all beautiful. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here on tools, you see add remove plugins. So I did the installer, and I had to find it right here. I had to find it for my family documents, um, for my downloads. You select file, go select it. It should be in your downloads, and then click OK, right? I already did that. And then you come back and you say, now add, remove it. And it should be in here. And you have to, you have to find it because look at all these things. Blah, 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 blah. You know, anytime it does an update, it'll put in a new plugin, whatever it needs. But ACX is its own special thing. So you have to come through and find it. And then um, it'll tell you the state that it's in, enabled or not. Some of them are were not enabled. So you just select it like this and you click enable and then click OK. OK. Hopefully that helps you. So here's my ACX check right here. This was the very last one I did. It says at the bottom. So I click on that. At first it said, I don't remember what it said. It was like loaded, but it wasn't. Anyway, so I click enable. Click OK. Um, new things. No idea. OK, close out. Let's see if it checks. If it checks out, if it uploads. OK, so I've exported this. I should be able to minimize Pull the website. Here we go. We're still looking for this particular chapter. I've saved it right there. Don't blow a fuse. Chapter 34. Open. It's going to upload it here. It passed the check in Audacity. So I'm making sure it passes the check on ACX. Um, I want you to keep in mind that if you're uploading your files, uh, Audacity, sorry, not Audacity, ACX still has a 40-day window to double-check everything. So you can't say that your book is live, your audiobook is live the next day. You have to allow for 40 days. Um, and if it's non-exclusive non rights, you get like 25% royalties. Um, and other platforms, so you can publish on other platforms. Um, like, so I'm using Find Away Voices, which is part of Draft to Digital um, Print, but the audio version is Find Away. They still want 20 to 30 days. To review the audio files but if you're using your acx check feature um, in audacity you should be good to go on those other platforms as well like if it's going to pass acx it's probably going to pass the other places okay so here we are shared screen don't blow a fuse chapter 34 loaded fine there it is so all of these ones pass the check um don't forget your retail sample okay that's it hopefully this helps someone my goodness uh, it's been a journey for me today. <laughs> so good luck, indie authors and first-time narrators. Happy recording. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.